Okay, now let's pull it all together. Uh, the very first thing you need to do is to get the PubNub library into your environment. Now, depending on the SDK you're using, there'll be different uh, versions of doing that. In other words, you may have to install it. If you're on Ruby, you might gem install. If you're on Node, you might NPM, and uh, if you're on Java, there might be a jar involved. But, um, and in JavaScript, it's just simply including a script to, uh, you know, with a link to our CDN, to the library. So whatever SDK you're using, you just have to uh, understand what it means to use PubNub, you know, what it means to import the library or install it. Once that's completed, the first thing you need to do is actually initialize a PubNub object. Again, it'll depend on the SDK you're using, what that actually means, but uh, at a very basic level, you're initializing a PubNub object. And that PubNub object doesn't really represent the connection to PubNub, it represents an object that you can use to invoke PubNub operations, whether that be publish, subscribe, and in other courses we'll talk about here now and history and so on. But essentially this instance of PubNub is your access point to invoke operations or request PubNub to do things on your behalf. Now, when it comes to publish and subscribe, and you know, a very simple example of how to get started with that is you initialize PubNub with your PubNub keys. That means using the publish and subscribe keys in the, uh, in the initialization call. Now, there are other um, parameters that you may provide in, in, for more advanced um, use cases, but at a very basic level, you must supply your subscriber key. That is the lookup for your account. Regardless of what you're going to do, the subscriber key is always required. The publish key is only required if you're going to publish from that client that's using that, that PubNub instance. But again, the subscriber key is always required regardless of what operation you're going to use. Now, once you've initialized, we want to subscribe to some channels. You want to be able to receive messages from publishers that are going to publish messages on those channels. So in order to, to subscribe to a channel, you need to use your PubNub instance, call subscribe, and provide the channel name that you want to subscribe to as well as the callback function that you want to receive those messages on. In other words, once you say subscribe, you're really just in this passive state of waiting for messages to arrive on that channel and be received by that function. Now, the code that you write in that function is your business logic. In our simple example, we're simply just going to output it to the console and just say, yep, I received the message and here it is. But in your business logic, you may display it uh, on a web page or on, on your mobile app or you may use it to do some uh, behind the scenes uh, automation like log that person off or navigate them to another page or um, it could be whatever your, you know, whatever your business logic dictates. Okay, once you have subscribers set up to receive messages on a particular channel or many channels as the case may be, you're gonna have some publishers that need to send messages to those subscribers. And those publishers may be the same clients as those subscribers. So if you are subscribed to Channel Blue and you publish a message on Channel Blue, you will also receive that message. Any and all subscribers will receive the messages published, published to that channel. So when it comes to publishing, you have the instance of the PubNub object, you call publish, and at a minimum, you provide the channel you want to publish to and the message that you want published. And again, back, uh, cycling back to how it all works, you're actually requesting PubNub to publish that message on the channel. PubNub takes that message, sends it to all actively subscribed users, and then the final stage is your subscribers receive that message and then your business logic processes that message to do what you need it to do. And that all happens in a quarter second no matter how many subscribers you have and no matter where they are in the world. Okay, so when it comes to publishing and subscribing, there are a few rules and guidelines that you need to follow. First of all, when you publish, you can only specify a single channel. You can't publish to multiple channels at once. But on the subscribe side, you can actually subscribe to multiple channels. It's called multiplexing and we have uh, different mechanisms for being able to subscribe to many channels, and we'll cover that in the Stream Controller course. So in this example, we're just publishing to one channel and subscribing to a single channel. But do know, you can subscribe to many channels and receive them all in the same function callback. All right, now, when it comes to using channels and what you, what you use the channels for, uh, there are different use cases. There's one-to-one -one private chats, um, or just one-to-one -one signaling, uh, whether it be actual human beings talking to each other or just devices uh, interacting with each other. Um, you can also have a, a one-to-many broadcast scenario. It could be one to dozens or one to millions of people. Or maybe a group chat where you have many people talking to many people. And then finally, fan in or one or many devices publishing onto one channel and one uh, endpoint receiving all those, one subscriber. Um, these are all different use cases of using channels, but we don't care. We don't, PubNub does not differentiate what, what one channel is versus another channel. 
So that's, again, we, we were talking about when you use channels, they just exist by using them. There's no setup process. There's no need to initialize a channel and set properties on it. PubNub just sees a channel as a mechanism for sending and receiving messages. So what you use it for can, ev can start out as uh, for one purpose and evolve to be something else. Like you can have a one-on-one -on -one chat evolve into a one-to-many broadcast or a many-to-many -many chat environment. And you can also have a uh, one-to-many broadcast where the broadcaster actually gives permission to one of those uh, subscribers to actually speak back. And maybe they're asking a question like in a webinar format. So again, your channels, what you use them for is completely what you define them to be, not what PubNub thinks they are. Because you know, as far as PubNub is concerned, channels are just channels. So you use them as you need them. Okay, so in review, we talked about the basic elements of PubNub, your keys, the channels, and messages, and how to actually publish and subscribe. So we imported the library or installed it. We initialized the PubNub object. We subscribed to channels and we publish those channels. And it's really just that simple. And really the, the, the details of what you do with those messages is where your application takes form. Thank you.